Hello, everybody. I am Teddy Jenkins, and welcome to the Nerdly Gentleman Podcast. With me is returning guest, Chad. Say hi. Hey, guys. How you doing? Chad here from uh, Take It or Leave It Reviews. Glad to be back. Thanks so much for inviting me. Link in the description for his channel, by the way. And, George, you're also here. Yeah, I am also here. Thank you very much. Yep. 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 You matter, too. <laughs> Yay! I hope this one I'll actually be a part of. You will, I promise. I made it so that we're not going to talk about anything horror movie related yeah. to this podcast. Yeah, you got that done that's, at the beginning of all this. I know, that's, but that's why I decided <laughs> to make a new, another podcast all about horror movies. Yeah, I heard movies, that. We're gonna, all yeah, about horror movies and shit. Yeah. It's a co-host. Okay, so I got one question for you guys. Okay, would you prefer to start off with the... So I got, like, movie news and, like, you know nerdy news and stuff like that and then i got like real news that like i just wanted to basically uh yell about which would you prefer to do first mm -hmm. i would think we'd save the nerdy news for last because that's it's a nerdy podcast you want the best for last okay <laughs> all right are you okay when i say like real news i mean like for real brain power news like stuff you gotta think about okay oh <laughs> man we're getting we're getting real here a little bit, yeah. Okay, Ooh. so, um, you know. I, guess, I guess I'll just start off with this. Okay, so did you guys hear that Muhammad Ali died yesterday? Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, it was sad. Yeah, that is. I mean, it's sad that anybody dies, but, yeah. I mean, he's a legend. Yeah. So it's, yeah. you know, it has an extra really layer of sad. Yeah, he's a really big cultural icon. So a lot of people looked in, up to him, and he, you know, I was listening to the news, and he was, they were talking all about how he fought for, uh, you know, black rights in the time in which it was not super awesome to be a black person and a, you know, celebrity. The 60s? Yeah, yeah. So they talked a little bit about that. And he's getting, he's, they're having his uh, body brought to Louisville in like a, uh, doing this kind of ceremony type thing for him where they're going to, you know, take his body around town and, you know, it's, it's going to be this whole like, I, don't, I mean, it's like a parade of sadness basically. Wait a minute, Louisville <laughs> what? Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. That's where he's from. Oh, I can go visit that. Oh, can you? Where are you? Yeah. Uh, the city right down below it. Oh, really? Huh. Lexington. I'm in Kentucky, too, actually. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, okay, so anybody got anything to add about Muhammad Ali? Does anybody know that where man, he died from? That, that man was quick, dude. They showed some. I was watching the PGA Tour earlier. I was just surfing the web and just had it on. They put up a big thing for him, and we already knew he was a, he was a quick son of a gun but i just i i just didn't i forgot how freaking fast that guy yeah. is man i mean well, he I was, is unreal yeah i was thinking today actually about i wonder who would win if you put muhammad ali versus evander holyfield versus mike tyson all three of them in the ring who would come out prime. standing in there yeah at that prime of course and <laughs> not when michael when muhammad ali had parkinson's and stuff that would, that right. would be kind of that would be a little you know bit it's difficult. it's hard it's hard uh to to compare it's it's not exactly apples to oranges because i think about like um you know babe ruth versus uh god i'm so out of the loop so who's who's a big uh you know a home run hitter nowadays I really you know? i really don't know I let's mean, throw out the only only because I'm about ten years behind. So it's Sammy Sosa, or you know, I mean, obviously there's the drug stuff with him. But like, like Babe Ruth is is a legend, but at the same time, he is he's just he's he was in a different era. You know what I mean? So like, it's sometimes with Muhammad Ali versus Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson, it's like, ooh man, you know. Uh, Muhammad Ali is 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 a legend for his time, but I, it doesn't always hold up to yeah, later I, later performances. Yeah, I think that I think that's one thing, and I think that comes that can come partially just by you know like chance that there's there's somebody that comes along that's better, or the fact that you know like you can say, well the the level at the the requirement to be at that level increased, yes. making it so that the people later were just better because it took more to be at his kind of level exactly you know? that like, like it's that whole like rel relativity you know what i mean like yeah. look at like babe ruth what kind of what kind of pitch you know speed was he going up against compared to people today yeah. i mean yeah. it's just not even well, like, it, like if, you it's look at, okay, look at, if you look at like mike tyson with like one punch he could instantly knock somebody out 
Oh yeah, he could kill saying, someone. Yeah, oh yeah, he could. I mean, he bit somebody's <laughs> ear off, so that says yeah. something, you know. Um, but with one swing, to your point, I mean, the guy could take your head off, literally. Yeah. yeah. Even now, probably he could do that. I mean, he's still in relatively oh, yeah. okay condition, um, right? As far as I'm aware, anyway. It proved that in The Hangover. I mean, yeah. granted, you know, film magic, but yeah. Okay, so um, some other. This is this is some uh, some YouTube news, okay? Uh, uh-huh. So, did any of you guys hear about what happened with H three H three Productions? The oh, YouTube Fupa channel? with Fupa, yeah. No. Oh, but yeah. Okay. No, okay. So, so to give everybody, uh, so what happened was H three H three Productions, which is a YouTube channel that does some reaction kind of content and stuff like that. Um, it's at least that's mostly what they they do. Um, they made a video on someone, another YouTuber. I can't remember his name, Mike. What is it, Mike Hall, Holland, or something, something like that? And so they were criticizing him, okay, in this reaction video. And they're pretty. They they don't, you know. It, it's not like most reaction channels where it's they just show the unedited footage of him them sitting there watching a thing, don't say anything for the entire way through. It, it, it was. It's pretty. It's mostly them. Like there's not comparison of how much footage is of the original video compared to their their original content, uh, they made much more of the content for the video. I think it was something like uh, they said that the video that they played for you know uh, of his video that was that was copywritten uh, was like three minutes and it was like an eleven minute long video. And it wasn't okay. even like a big deal of a video. Either. Was, was- so, was the video that was the copyright video? Sorry, was that um, like video from you said from a fellow you from like a fellow YouTuber? YouTuber? Yes. Okay, yes. got it. Got yeah, it. so it's not like it's you know um, a trailer the or movie or a Batman right. or Superman or something like that. It's not. It's not like big corporation. Uh, oh, okay, type thing. gotcha. So what happened after that was um, they started sending uh, the this this YouTuber started sending H three H three. Uh, like a, a, it wasn't a cease and desist order. It was like it was it was like demand. It was basically demand saying, you got to do this, this, and this, or else we're gonna sue you. And it was stuff like um, you got to pay. I think it was like they wanted four thousand, six thousand, four thousand dollars or something like that. And then uh, s- something else. Like I'm I, about I him it, for at least. Four months, I think, or two. Yeah, something like that. And then they wanted also. But the ma- the YouTuber, the the one that sued them, his name is Matt Haas. Okay, Matt Haas, Matt Haas. So what happened then is they basically, and then they all they also wanted them to make videos promoting this guy. Okay, so it's some pretty like low level stuff. Low, I mean, pretty low down stuff for anybody to do, especially just a ran- like a random YouTuber to do to another YouTuber. So, um, after that, they said no. Then they came back again and said, okay, here's some less difficult stuff that we, that we want you to do. And then they said no again. And so now they're going to court over it, okay? Full-blown court case. And they said that they said that the reason they wanted to do this was because if they let, let up, then it makes it look like you can, you know, uh, ask any YouTuber for money if they use your content in any way, even if it adheres to fair use. So then what happened after that was Philip DeFranco, who's another popular YouTuber, um, set up a GoFundMe page to pay for their uh, legal bills, okay? In which case, all the biggest YouTubers donate like thousands of dollars. Like PewDiePie donated like $2,000. The Fine Bros donated like $10,000. Really crazy, and they were asking, and the the thing was like they said that at most their bills will probably cost like a hundred thousand dollars, something like that, um, or maybe I think yeah, I think it was a hundred thousand dollars. Well, so they get way over a hundred thousand dollars, and so then they come out and say, okay, we're gonna make this new thing, we're gonna make this thing called FUPA, okay, which stands for Fair Use. George, you can look it up if you can find it. Um, and anyway, the I idea, don't have to. I already know what it means by the acronym: okay, Fair Use Protection Agency. That's right. Okay, so what happened is they are going – whatever money is left after their court case, they're putting into this thing called FUPA, which is this bank account that is attached directly to a guy. I can't remember his real name, but he's known as the video game attorney, and he's like an attorney who represents primarily video game people or people who you know are about weird creative stuff. Um, 
And so then they said, if you have a, a case, a legal case, in which you believe you've adhered to, adhered to fair use, then the entire legal court fees will be free, and the FUPA will pay for it. So that's what they did. So so now the idea is that there's now a, a, a organization dedicated basically to making sure that fair use legally is upheld in court. Which is an interesting, which is really interesting, um, oh, yeah. which you know we have zero problem with because we're YouTubers too, so we can, we can't really say anything bad about it. Um, yeah, especially no, Chad I mean, over here that yeah. needs like like channel tra- like the movie trailers in order to yeah. make his reviews. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've gone to that. It's yeah. so much more efficient to to go down that route rather than have to set up and do all you know the lights and all this stuff. And you know, yeah. for me, I, I, that's that's become my kind of my personality for my youtube or my theme for my youtube channel and yeah i i can absolutely i've i've seen a lot of people talk about fair use on youtube and um i've heard people talk about like yeah you know you don't have to be someone who makes a ton of money or has x you know hundred thousand followers you can just be a guy like me you could be a, a you know someone who is you know just started doing this and you can get um you can get uh you know flagged and if you do there's not much you can do about it, at least in the past recently. There's not much you can do. You can try and call YouTube. I, I, I know about people who have, uh, I've seen people's YouTube videos who have 500,000, 700,000, a million followers, and they're trying to call YouTube, and you know, or uh, YouTube or Google, I guess, and they're, they're trying to get a hold of them and be like, yo, you're stopping my, you know, Revenue income revenue. you know yeah you're stopping my revenue coming in i do this you know people do this for a living they make money doing this and you've just because you don't like my video or whatever you flag my 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 uh, video and that stops all income coming in and now as a result i've got no money coming in it's going all to the people that happen to flag it and I can't do anything about it. So for me, that has been a concern, you know, purely because that's now how I started doing my reviews. And I, unless I'm going to totally revamp the way I do it, that is, uh, you know, which I can do, but I'd really rather not. And I know that I'm within my rights to do it this way. <laughs> but I get concerned the way that they, the way that the system is set up. I am, I do get concerned from time to time because of the way that I do my videos. That I'm going to get flagged, even though I, I know that I'm within my rights to do my videos like this yeah definitely i mean it's it, it's a it's a it's a pretty difficult issue because there are of course accurate cases in which you know somebody has just ripped off someone else's content um but also uh i think i heard that youtube was planning what they're going to do is they're going to make a change to it that says when you um fight against a copyright claim or a copyright content id match that um you know how the revenue what would happen you know is if you don't if friends those who are watching who aren't youtubers what would happen is the revenue would then go to whoever copyright who gave the claim or who whatever content id found id the the video as having a uh, copyrighted content in it it would go to whoever owns the copyright to that so then the person and for instance it could be false or it could be true but that money in the meantime is going to them. So what YouTube? I think I heard YouTube say that they what they're going to do is the YouTube, the money will just be held by YouTube, and then at the end, whoever right is is the act you know is telling the truth about the this thing this case, then it goes to them, and they continue to make money from, it, which is perfectly fine because then at least you know at least they're not yeah. people aren't making money off of lying. Exactly, and that that's the point because it's it's fine if the if the money's just in you know YouTube purgatory basically, yeah. where it's just like sitting there waiting to go, yeah. you know, one way or the other. But the problem is that just because someone makes a claim, that money just starts funneling to them. And what if they're what if they're you know full of crap? You know, yeah, like well, what I if they're say, doing it? I would say that what should happen also is if you give three false claims, then you should not. You should you should just bas- basically be deleted off of YouTube. Your content, copyright and copyright whatever, should be deleted. Not now. It's not to say um, content ID matches because those are automated. But if it's a content claim, which is you know of course directly saying this is ours, we want we want our money. Um, then if you give three of those three false copyright claims, then you should 
no longer be able to give copy give out copyright claims. I think that's pretty fair. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I think uh, there's yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I have to think about that. I, I'm I'm not opposed to that. Certainly, I think some whatever it does, there needs to be some kind of policing, and that is certainly a uh, you know like three strikes and you're out. You know, like yeah. you're 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 clearly um, and and they also need to just in in order because I feel like fair you this isn't um, right now. This is a very evolving situation. Um, they, we need to get some more clear-cut boundaries here. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. in order so that maybe someone does truly think that this is a fair use issue, but right now it's just it's just a very gray area, and we need to, uh, if we're uh, in 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 many different regards, there needs to be from whether it's from YouTube's perspective, from the people putting the copyright claims out there, there needs to be. We need to get some more black and white, um, you know, kind of boundaries in order to determine, you know, to to to, to get more accurate, uh, you know, a, a more accurate place in terms of because uh, I understand some people being upset about like, hey, you're taking our stuff, but again, I just think that especially from YouTube and Google, I feel like. They need to. I think that they really need to get their, you know, stuff together and start. Um, I feel like their teams, especially now, like at this time, are, are really working to try to figure out how yeah. to, uh, you know, get get better at, uh, you know, more accurately flagging this stuff and coming up with better systems. To your point about instead of the money going to, um, you know, the per- person giving the claim going to you know YouTube and just holding it you know those are those are steps that need to be continue uh, need to continue being made yeah all right so on to the next uh, person can here. I share yeah go ahead go ahead <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I I have a little bit more uh, research into this because I actually did make a video on this on my channel of when uh, the hashtag where the fair use was and it, like mainly used a lot with a lot of youtubers uh, I find it a like like a like minor fix right now considering youtube is getting bigger and bigger by the day and it's actually being seen as a competitor to tv itself uh but the way you're saying it kind of doesn't work like you can like fight off the claims and all get like into like a small bank account but it's only for like three videos you can only uh appeal like three videos like let's say on chat's channel if uh x-men apocalypse civil war and deadpool have been claimed he can't find he can, like he can't battle against like another claim on let's say the suicide squad trailer he can't fight that one so they are still making the money no no, no. from you're, that no, no, you're missing the point the the the, no, no, no. the claims can only be delivered by the person who's giving the claims not the person who's receiving them not that they can only receive three claims but that the person who's saying this is mine can only do that three times and it'd be false yeah no, 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 like, it's, like, the same way all around. No, I've actually done, I've watched multiple YouTube videos on this. You can only find off three claims on your channel. Uh, uh let's see, I can list examples right now. Uh, I can't ha- the, I forget what his name is. Only yeah, three claims, it's, uh, though, because I hate otherwise. everything had that problem. Uh, let's see who else had it. Uh, Nostalgia Critic, I believe he said it in his channel, like, you can only find off three claims at a time. Uh, let's see who else said it. Uh, but then in that case, though, then huge, tons of huge YouTubers then would not, would have been, you know, would have lo- would have been taken down or something. Yeah, but that's not technically true, considering some YouTubers are, like, protected by YouTube straight up by themselves. Like, yeah, but they don't, not, like, I mean, have that, to worry about that. But then not, again, there are true YouTubers that's you also got, see, in partnerships see, like, with their channel. But, you no, that's not true, because you see people like the Nostalgia Critic and then, you know, Chris Stuckman, Jeremy. Yeah, Jones, they're not partnered. all go, yeah, but that doesn't. I'm pretty sure they are because they make money. No. no, no, like they do make money, but that's off you of check. ad revenue from have YouTube you from their every AdSense single account. Single one of those people that I just mentioned. Okay, when you have a network, let's say you're a part of IGN. I get how that works, but but what I'm saying is that they most almost all YouTubers are a part of a network, especially yeah. all the major ones. Yeah, like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, and PewDiePie. Yes, I can't buy... PewDiePie himself is making his own, like, network himself, along with Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Yeah, but okay. But that network can put themselves under a managed setting. Like, they can say, oh, we're managing them, so if anything happens to them, it goes straight to us. We'll deal with it. Don't, like, take money away from them. Most of the time, though, that doesn't end up working like that. Especially there was a whole... um, 
what is it? There was a situation a couple years ago where that stopped working like that, where the the managed status. That's right. It was it was that that all YouTube networks said that all all of their partners had a managed status, and that's what the problem was. But then they, but still, I can't I can't buy that that you know all the big movie critics are not partnered. The one all the ones that are asking for where's the fair use that all of those people were not partnered. Uh, I Jeremy Johns is protected, so yeah, he is protected by YouTube. Uh, um, yeah, but I think the nostalgic, protected by YouTube. Nostalgic you're not protected no, like, by YouTube. No, like, yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, you can say they're protected A certain by group network, YouTube has set but... aside saying, like, oh, they can do no wrong. Yeah, but that's... Like, they... they've been trusted. Like, someone's monitoring over them. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're all, always going to be protected no matter what. Oh, no, no, no. They can remove... Like, YouTube can remove that from them, yeah. I'm not saying that, like they're like it's invincible against the law. I'm just like saying some of the people that were really talking bad during the fair use were probably not even like they were not even managed whatsoever. Did you uh, say they angry probably judge. weren't? They, no, I, I I made a mistake. I stutter a lot. My bad. Okay, okay. don't judge me. I'm kind of right. thinking off the top of my head, which let's, I have done research in the past, let's... but. Then again, I mean, you've done little to no not... research on this, considering you didn't know the person whose name was Matt Haas. I knew I had heard it several times. I just didn't care about him enough, okay? <laughs> the guy who's suing the people didn't really matter when thinking of telling the story. All you need to know is that it's a YouTuber who's suing other YouTubers. That's general. Now the, the point of the story. Just not knowing the exact name does not mean I don't know anything about the story. No, I didn't say you didn't know everything about the story. I just said yeah, you didn't you said know I that didn't, person. You said I didn't do any Like, you didn't that. do, like, a lot of research. That's why I said you didn't do a lot of research. And you did. Well, I've seen, like, five people talk about it and a couple of articles. Well, good for you. Okay. Hey George, George, real quick, I'm just just for my own knowledge because as a I'm I'm still relatively new to to this. I'm still figuring this stuff out myself. Um, um, George, I'm curious because I've seen your videos um, on your channel with you know you you'll you'll um, you'll play you know video games and post that. Uh, uh, you know, and, and do a commentary on that. How does that work with fair use? Because it's one thing to well, take like, yeah. He, he, I'm I'm curious how how that works because I think that's a clearly very popular, and, and so do you, Teddy. I, from 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 what I've seen, but yeah, that's a different world uh, for me. So I'm curious how that works. Yeah, I might know a little bit more about this than George. Um, okay, well, go so, for it. So the general, <laughs> it's not a contest, but okay. So the general the general idea of it is that there are certain games, game companies, that allow for you to make videos of the games, and some of them ha allow monetization, and some of them do not. Like Valve. Um, Valve, Valve is, allows... like, very supportive of their community. Like, you can monetize Portal, Team Fortress 2. They love the, the fact mod, that you're sharing their games. Stuff like that. Yeah. Um, then you take somebody like, say, uh, Konami, and the most Japanese oh, no. companies, really, or Nintendo. 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 Nintendo no. Nintendo example. They do not allow any any use of their, at least now Konami. Sometimes allows you to make videos as long as you don't monetize. Like it. a very select um, few, but for Nintendo, yeah. you have to be like a part of their special program. Yeah, or so, like been allowed by Nintendo to do that. So really, the best way to do it is just to research the company. Most companies have some sort of page that tells you. You just do some I think I have a there. website that tells you what webs yeah, like what companies some, allow that. Some, yeah, there are some websites too that have compiled list of them. But yeah, so that's how that works. Okay. I want to move on to the next piece of news, okay? So this uh -huh. one's this one's for real heavy news, okay? Are you guys ready? Yeah, I thought the last one was the heavy news. Now I'm getting, oh, no, getting this, excited. Oh no, it gets much heavier. It gets into like violence and protests and like <laughs> like like Oh, some oh no. I I'm, I'm having thoughts going through my head. Okay. Um a t on a topic that uh, I could probably ramble on literally for days on, uh, Hillary Clinton. Um, <laughs> everyone's everyone's eyes just uh, went. Oh Ooh, no! Pol pol politics and religion. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, did you guys? I'm not sure if you guys heard this. Okay. Hillary Clinton made a big foreign policy speech uh, about two days ago. Um. Now it's interesting. 
is that about 13 minutes of it, it was about an hour long, and 13 minutes of it were for uh, foreign policy, and then 40-something minutes were for uh, uh, Donald Trump. So, <laughs> so, so a lot of people were saying, you know, that, that it was really a messed up speech because it was supposed to be about, about foreign policy, and she when she talked almost entirely about Donald Trump saying to the point that his ideas are dangerously incoherent at one point she says that um she she brings up a lot of issues like every issue that somebody could have against Donald Trump she brought up um some of them I weren't sure if they were true or not and some of them I were I was I was sure that they were true um and then I, you know, at the same time, I was like, you know, I should probably, I want, I'm curious what Donald Trump has to say about this. So I go on Twitter, check Donald Trump's Twitter, and it's like, lying Hillary's lying again. I knew it was gonna happen, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Um. So yeah, so uh, this is this is, I guess you could say that now this is the start of the actual election because Bernie Sanders is gonna lose. Can everyone agree on that? Like. He might as well have already lost. Yes, I would. Yes. I would agree with that. Appreciate yeah. a good fight, but yeah. Yeah, and I appreciate. I gotta say, he's a very hardworking person for staying in it this long. I will give him that credit. Although I he think he's get out of a, the ship like Ted Cruz. Although I think he's a psychopath for all the stuff he thinks. I gotta say, he does have quite the heart. Okay, um, and that's something you can't criticize. So, so yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is America at the moment. <laughs> the current, Ch- Chad, the current. This are, is the current state. Chad, who are you voting for? Oh man, I'm voting for um, Steven Spielberg. Okay. I, I don't. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, I'm crossing my fingers. Please don't say Hillary Clinton. Please don't say Hillary. Clinton. Please don't uh, say you know, Hillary man. Clinton. Here's the deal. It, it, like I, I am. I'm. Look, I'm originally from Texas. I grew up just outside D.C. in Northern Virginia. I currently right now. Currently, right? I live in Chicago for the past eight years. Man, I am so a mutt. From, so you went I'm, from. Texas, I'm a mutt if there ever was so, one. So you went from Texas to Chicago. That must have yeah. been a dude wild. Change. I'm telling you, man. It's it's and but here's the thing. Like and because I don't have a. I don't have like a ton to say about this only because like I'm personally, so I'm actually, I'm an economist. That's like what I, that's my graduate or my, my degree if you, is an economist. So like so you actually my have head some skill in knowing who a little bit we, of knowledge when it comes to like economy on who to vote for. Right. Yeah. So I, for me personally, I'm kind of a, uh, you know, if we're talking from, for throwing it out there, we're talking about, I'm, I'm more of a, you know, kind of a liberal in terms of social, uh, you know, social things, but, um, conservative fiscal, um, for, for me. Um, and that's for me personally, it, that makes it tough. And so for me, I, I'm, this is like, uh, watching a movie that, it, you know what it is? This is like, for me, like watching like Batman versus Superman, where I just, I can't make up my damn mind because I'm like, Oh, it's so good, but damn it. There's problems. You know, like, yeah. so for me, well, I I, it's, it's a hard, it's hard. I don't think anyone's saying, man, what perfect candidates we have. Right. Who, <laughs> right. I mean, who right. do you vote for? They're just so good. It's like the, I mean, it's like right. the last election. We had Mitt Romney and Obama. It's like choosing between two corpses and saying, "Hey, which one seems better to you?" It's like right. It, it, there's there's no can I get a third? Yeah, there's opinion? no standout to your point. It's kind of choosing like the the best of the bad. It's like if it's like if you go to one doctor that says, "Okay, you have cancer," and the other doctor says, "No, you have AIDS." Uh, which one do you which one would you prefer to go? And you're just like, "Can I get <laughs> a, a dark third analogy, opinion? But... Can I get a third opinion?" <laughs> A third it's a dark opinion. analogy, but there's some truth to it. There's some truth yeah. to that analogy for Cause, sure. Because, uh, okay, I'll I'll be honest. Okay, whatever stuff that's that's wrong with Donald Trump, which I mean, there, I think everybody can agree, there there's there's stuff wrong with Donald Trump. Okay, even even the people who support him, and I like him. Okay, I think he's he's, you know, uh, he's not as bad as everybody would like to think he is. But I really don't want Hillary Clinton to be the president. 
Like I'm, I'm picturing it in my mind the next four years of Hillary Clinton being president. And I'm just thinking about how all that goes. And it's like, that's just going to be another four years of just having Obama, really, if you think about it. Because they're really, they're, they're similar in certain aspects, you know? And yeah. especially in the fact that I think Hillary Clinton is a very, very ideological person who is not willing to sacrifice, like, she's not very pragmatic, you know? Like, in the same, way, same kind of thing with Obama. I think Obama prefers to keep to his ideals of how he thinks things should be versus what is practical, you know? Um, I think I think for me personally, my I, I've yet to I, I while Donald Trump man he's he says he says and does some some things that are just like outrageous, but damn it yeah. if it's not entertaining. I mean it is well, there is something to be said for, there is something to be said for that. But uh, you know I'm still waiting to look I, like hey like I say with like every movie that I see I, you know I have my thoughts when I see a movie trailer for example I've got my thoughts about how I feel about that movie. That movie doesn't look good to me. That movie, yeah. Ghostbusters, for example, doesn't oh, look no. good to me. Yeah, it doesn't look good to me. It just doesn't. It has nothing to do with the all-female cast. It has nothing because they're all very talented. It has nothing to do with that. But that's how that the trailers have been uh, portrayed. It. It just. I'm not. I'm not. I'm looking at the trailers and I'm going. That doesn't look good to me. But I'll see the movie and I'll go in with an unbiased mindset and judge the movie on its own merits. And up to this point. The only thing with Donald Trump is I just haven't seen, I haven't heard really what he his plans are, and so for me I'm kind of like I hear him saying stuff, but I just hey maybe maybe he's got for all I know he might have the perfect thing, you know he might have ev- he might have he might be the perfect candidate, who knows? But so far I mean, I'm just know, haven't I just haven't he heard anything. The, I mean you never know also that like he could be the next Ronald Reagan and everybody's just you know totally doubting him right now, and then he turns out to be right. the next Ronald Reagan and completely fixes every problem in America yeah. magically. So, so, yeah, you know? so far, I don't think that's the case, but I just haven't it's, heard it's, it's, any it's concrete, I haven't heard any yeah. concrete things from him yet, so uh, you know, I kind of, uh, you know, put my judgment aside until I start, you know, until we start getting to the thick of it, if you will. Yeah, which I think when they do, do the debates, that'll definitely come up, you know. Yeah, exactly. And, and, yeah. and as for that, that, that speech that Hillary gave on, on, on foreign policy, which is basically just about Donald Trump, she in that speech, she had a teleprompter. She had it all scripted out. She knew everything she was gonna, every pin, every point that she wanted to make about Donald Trump. But I don't think she can handle on like a debate with Donald Trump. Because if you see, for instance, debates with Donald Trump, he kind of slaughters, has slaughtered every other Republican candidate at the debates. You know, like I'm not sure if you, if you, how many, if you've seen any of them or not. But he does exceptionally well. You know, especially compared to all the other ones, other candidates, um, which of course is the reason that he, you know, won. Um, but yeah, man, I, I just, I just think, at least with Donald Trump, there's a chance that things will get really better. But with, I'm thinking with Hillary Clinton, I feel like it'll just kind of stay roughly the same for the next four years. You know what I mean? Like. I feel like there wouldn't be ch- a lot of change with Hillary Clinton where there would be with Donald Trump. I can't say for sure that's going to be great, fantastic change, you know, but I don't know. Plus, there's all the, you know, like all the, the I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm just going to say a criminal stuff with, you know, Hillary Clinton, um, which she might even go to jail, you know, <laughs> like you think about that and then you think, OK, you want to have somebody who might go to jail or this this guy, who's going around screaming with a giant with his crazy wig, um, <laughs> you know it, it's it's kind of it's kind of a hard choice to make, and I mean again I, I prefer Donald Trump just because I really 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 don't like Hillary Clinton, you know the worse or the lesser evil it, it, I, that's the way I see it you know. And, and here's the thing: Donald Trump could not be a bad president. You know, there's a huge, there's a chance, quite a good chance that he might be amazing or great. And I just, you know, we don't perfectly realize it yet. Um, which actually, this this next piece of news, I just I want to talk about this because this is tied into uh, what we're talking about now. Um, so there, there was recently a couple of there, there's some videos of where these people were protesting against Donald Trump, like out in the streets or whatever. And there were uh, some, you know, pro-Trump 
people walking around too. Um, and this woman gets is uh, basically she walks out of like her apartment building, and basically all these anti-Trump people gather around the door and don't let her leave, and like throw eggs and stuff. And and then there was another video where a dude who had like a pro-Trump sign and was just you know like walking around with it. This guy runs up to him and smashes a bottle on the back of his head, and like causes and he's like bleeding like pretty badly. Um, and I'm just I'm just thinking. That's, that's, that's another reason I'm just thinking I don't think I want to throw all my eggs into that basket you know what I mean like cause, cause here's the thing okay and there's nothing to say that those anti-Trump people are gonna vote for Hillary Clinton or whatever but you get the sense that a lot of them are from that side of the fence right um the, you know like the Demo- democratic liberal side of the fence so you know I don't want to be within the circle of people that are in mass hordes going around and like attacking people you know that's not to say of course all liberals and all democrats want to kill people but you know you gotta think like okay how many how many like pro Trump people have you seen gather around uh, like Hillary Clinton rallies and just start yelling and just trying to stop the whole rally from continuing. I mean, have you guys heard that once happening? Yes. Really? Personally, I, I, yeah, I, I have. I, I, I think, look, here's the thing. I think that, I think that all the protesting, there's protesting on both sides. I think it is yeah. personally, because I've seen it. I mean, oh, well, I mean, there's protesting on both sides, but I mean, do I think, think it's, do you think, though, that it's, well, I've seen, I've seen Trump side, though. I know that it's happened here in Chicago. I, okay. I've, I've I've seen it okay. here, and I've seen it. I mean, I've walked by it, um, and I've and I've seen I saw on the news um, a few uh, weeks back, probably more like a, a two months back, probably. But um, I saw uh, Donald Trump, you know, supporter, um, go and punch. Literally walked out of his seat, walked over to a uh, uh, Hillary or uh, a Sanders uh, supporter, and just decked him. Just decked them, wow. just boom, and it got yeah. caught on film, and so, and that's and, right. and that's the thing. This is something that I always feel like with, with um, you know whether it's religion or um, you know where you are in terms of politics, it's the individual that is the one screwing it up. I feel like there's yeah. very there's a lot of merits, but whether it's between being conservative or liberal, there's merits on both sides, but it's the individuals that are screwing it up. And I do think that there are people on both sides of the uh whether liberals you know um appreciating uh Sanders or Clinton or um conservatives appreciating Donald Trump. People I think that people are, are yeah. on both sides are screwing this up and and, and frankly embarrassing themselves and the well, okay. side that they support. It, yeah, if you really think about it, okay, Donald Trump should would, is the, is a bad candidate for the Republicans. Okay, just looking at it, gener- looking at it from a totally general standpoint, uh, Hillary should not be the Democratic candidate, and Donald Trump should not be the Republican candidate. There should be much better options. You know, like there those. I feel yeah, like I'd, I'd agree two, with that. I feel like on both sides, and they don't, not many people want to admit this, they're both hating the thought that we have to support these people. These are this is it, you know. I especially feel bad for for Democrats because then it's like, okay, our two options are Hillary Clinton and a socialist. It's like a bad it's, Super Bowl. I mean, that is like, like those are horrible like the doll- options. It's like the Dolphins fight, you know, going against the Cleveland Browns or something. We're just like, ugh, gross. We we yeah, really we doing are we doing that? That's that's the Super Bowl this year. Yeah. So so really, just it, it, And here's the thing. Okay, I I I think I think we can probably, at least I hope that we can agree on this. That there's are plenty of things that Donald Trump is saying that are good. Like for instance, I agree with him on the his view on political correctness. You know, um, if if anything, you know, if anything else, I think that that is admirable. I think he's very, very harsh about it, and I think he's very, very blunt. But I admire the the 
goal of it, you know? Maybe not the means as much, but, you know. Um, because, I, 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 you know, I don't like any of the culture that has been built of, you know, safe spaces, hate speech, uh, basically all the social justice warrior stuff that we hear about, you know? Um, but yeah, man, that's, I think that's the biggest reason, you know? Yeah, I, 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 re, I reserve, I reserve judgment because I like to give just as, a, like I said, with Ghostbusters, I reserve judgment till the day I see it. I reserve mm-hmm. judgment with, uh, both candidates, but, uh, yeah, for me personally, it's kind of a, all right, let's wait and see, especially once, uh, as you mentioned, the election kind of seems like it's like kind of officially starting. Let's, um, you know, yeah. for me personally, I'm just kind of like, all right, let's 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 see where this goes. Let's let's really dive into these, you know, these people's yeah. thoughts and their their mindsets and their intentions. And by no means, I think that Trump is an angel. You know, I, I think that he's more okay. I would say morally, I don't think he's a very good person. Um, just ask his wives. Yeah, that's that. Well, that's that's one reason. Um, <laughs> but but like with Hillary Clinton. Do you, like, do you guys watch Hillary Clinton and just feel this this weird sense that this is this sounds bad? Like, whatever she's talking about, she just sounds so I don't know, slimy about it, sort of. Does that make sense? Where I, I don't know. I, I, just, I just see her talking about stuff and I'm just kind of like like okay, while I, I was watching the whole uh, her whole speech on foreign policy that was actually about Trump, live, and and I was kind of going, uh, that's wrong, that's not true, that's wrong, and the whole in my mind the whole time, because because I was just kind of thinking, a lot of this is kind of just like made up stuff to, you know, help her. But but here's something that I, I, I thought was interesting, okay? And I want to just ask this question, not to antagonize anybody, but it's a genuine question, okay? So let's say, so I think of the biggest issue that people have with Trump is people think, you know, he's a bigot, he's misogynistic, he's whatever you want to say, you know, uh, that all that kind of social justice stuff. Um, so here's something that I thought about a little earlier, okay? Let's say he is one of those things, okay? Um, and he becomes president, okay? How much does his insensitivity, we'll call it, okay, affect his presidency? <laughs> no one wants to start you know that I, conversation. You know I, you know I mean? like, like and scene. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like, if let's just say he is a bit misogynistic, which I wouldn't next bit of news you know and but i'm curious how much as a president does that affect everyone i mean <laughs> uh, i'll i'll go first um go, go I, first. i'm just yeah I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there to be honest i mean i'm not uh, saying you know oh it, it's not gonna affect anything so we should just forget it in the first place but but i'm just saying really is it gonna make like what is he going to start World War Three because he's a misogynistic? I don't, you know, you know I don't I mean? know, but I, if, I think if he says the wrong I thing to like Putin, th- but I'm saying I don't think he's going to go. He's, we're going to, he's going to, we're going to, you know, everybody's saying he's racist and stuff, and he's going to get up there one day and he's going to be like, you know, maybe we should enslave black people again. You know what I mean? Like I don't think he's going to do something like that. Boom! He lost you know? the second yeah. term. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, here's the one thing about him that I a lot of, I've heard a lot of people say, and I've got my issues with uh, Trump, but I also there's certain things that I'm like, well, you know, even some of his you know political correctness, I'm like, well, son of a gun, he'll he'll just say what he says, and there's there's some respect I have uh, for him for that. Yeah. that. That that's that's you know that that's, that's definitely you know I don't see other people doing that, um, but um, the one thing that I some people mention with him in turn, and this is something kind of to your point, uh, Teddy, about uh, you know talking about you know kind of the way that he acts. I I I, I am very curious to see how he'd go up against a guy like uh, like like uh, Putin and a guy who is 
real, actually very, I think, a real hard guy. I don't think that Donald Trump's a hard guy. I think that well, he's a lot of he's a lot of bark. But thing. I just I look I look at Putin and I'm like, this guy will actually kill you. This oh, guy yeah. will kill you. What you where, where you stand? Eyes, if you look into his eyes, you just yeah. see a man who's seen a lot of stuff and is like, I want to rule everything. Like you can yeah. see, he he looks like a world conqueror. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he looks yeah. like the kind and of person I, who wants to rule the I'm world. I'm very curious. Yeah, and I'm I'm just I'm curious to see how that kind of stuff is gonna size up with a guy like Batman, who who is you know <laughs> just I mean, Batman. yeah, the, well, like Batman, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, just, you know, I've seen, I've seen, he did call himself Batman. Well, here, here's yeah. what I see, here's what I'd say about that though. I feel like like, and this is what all, almost all Russian leaders tend to like is they like other leaders who are very strong and who are firm about stuff, you know. And I feel like and that's, that's why... the one thing. That's the one thing. I'm sorry not to interrupt. That's the one thing about Trump. Again, this is why I say I reserve judgment. We'll see. I'm I'm still, but I'm not convinced that he's that strong. Like I just I'm not convinced yet. Yeah. I know that he is a showman and yeah. he's great at it. And, and he, he and I love the fact that I actually do I do appreciate that he's like screw it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it as it is. There is there is well, a lot to be said there. But I'm not convinced yet that he's a strong. You know, that's, a strong leader. I, I think here's here's the way I see. It. I think it'll go two different ways with Putin. It'll either go very very good, and Putin will be like, you know, this guy's got guts. He's willing to just say what he like, what he thinks, and he does not care if it's gonna cause you know war or whatever. This guy's just willing to say it how it is. You know, like I can I can admire a guy like that. Or he's gonna be like, how dare you speak to me in such a way? Goodbye. And I'm angry. You know I what think, I mean? It's going to be one of those two. Right. I, I, I think that's like, fair. I think I think yeah. it is definitely one. It's it. You got it'll those two depend, options. We'll see where it goes. If, on if how, it, it'll depend a lot on how thick skin Putin is. You know, because I think Donald Trump has some pretty thin skin when it comes to, to stuff. Although he's he's said, I think he can. As much as I think people get very upset and think you know he he'll cause a nuclear war or World War Three or whatever i i think that he is a bit tougher than we think and he's right now just letting like ripping everyone because he's like because you know he's been saying he said for years you know maybe i'll run for president maybe i won't i think this is his the the, i think i think he's thinking right now i just want to yell at on everything that i can't stand you know can i I say something it's a i think this is a massive i think that is him running right now is him ranting on all this stuff but yeah yeah go ahead george i was looking up donald trump on on you know google of course you get money of things but this one's pretty recent uh donald trump at a uh at one of his uh rallies uh at the airport is the speeches he uh point like it, this goes back to what we were saying a little bit earlier he points out that there was an African American in, in his audience. He goes, "Look at him! Look at my African American over here." I don't buy that he said that. <laughs> no, I have I'll the be, footage right here. I'll seeing be him for real. Footage. I'll be for real. I'd have to see it first because here. A lot wait a minute. I'm putting it in the. I can't watch it now because we're. I can't watch it now because we're, we're doing the podcast right now. But afterward, you can. But well, there yeah. you go. Okay, but again, I would say. He's a very, very blunt um, and sometimes insensitive person, okay? Because here's something that I, and I, so I, I was talking to some people, and they also noticed this too. Do you notice when he's talking about a, a group of people, he starts it with the? Like he says, the blacks love me. The Mexicans love me. The gays love You know what I mean? Like he says stuff like but that. By the, scene, look at my African-American. Yeah, but it's it's it, it's it's... I think I see. I think it's. I think I don't think he means that on purpose. I don't think he's like, you know. I I hate black people, so I'll say, hey, look at my African American friend, as though it's like, you know, I want to belittle them. I think it's just that he doesn't get. I don't think he quite is thinking about it in that way. You know what I mean? I yeah, just, no, but I know, but I really connect to what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now for some some nerd news. Okay. First All right. Off, first off, the Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition trailer. I watched this trailer. Okay, this was amazing compared to everything else. 
Who disagrees? Not me. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, it, was, it, it was. I I loved it. Like yeah, it. Like I. It it added so much. Like it, okay, it looked like it added motivation for Superman to fight Batman way more because it showed him talking to some random hobo who has a scratch card. That how the, how Batman. cool is it when that guy goes, "Oh, he is angrier and he is hunting." Oh my God, I got chills. And he's like a Cajun dude too, isn't he? he has like a yeah. Cajun accent, and he's like this hobo. And he's just, why does he do that too? He like pulls out, rips out a scratch card, starts scratching it off, and it has like the bat logo underneath it. Or maybe he draws that on the. Yeah, I think he draws it. Maybe. I think he draws it. I was thinking, what? Where do you get a a scratch card that has the Batman logo when you scratch it off? And where can weird. I buy one? Yeah, yeah. Um, what else was? Oh yeah, I, I'm really hoping that in this version, the fight scene between Batman and Superman is lo- a lot longer. You know, because I was I think... I, one complaint I had, and I, we mentioned this before, that I thought it was a bit, it was too short. You know, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say the the, the, the here's the thing that like I liked. So much about this that regardless of the actual individual content that was in this trailer if and actually it, i think the, the trailer is like a minute 38 seconds uh, 38 seconds and for me what i what really blew me away was that uh, only like 30 seconds of that is actual new footage and yeah. when you think about it, they're saying that they're gonna, there's going to be an additional 30 minutes, yeah, 30 minutes of footage 30 yeah 30 minutes and if you think about it, that is the 30 seconds of footage in this trailer already started hinting at answering questions that i still have and that is one yeah. percent of the additional footage that is going to be in this definitely one percent one percent has already started answering the lingering questions and about the motivations of the characters and why they did this and why did this yeah, happen? Yeah. Why did they end up getting here? That's one percent of the footage. So that gets me really... so excited about what the whole thirty minutes of additional footage is going to do for us. I'm going to be very curious because here's here's what I'm I'm wondering. After this comes out, are people? And I wonder if it's re-edited too because it had some editing issues in the movie too. And so it would be really nice if they did a bit of tweaking to the editing um but i I, i'm curious if after this everybody's gonna go you know it's a pretty awesome movie now after this extra 30 minutes of footage like think about that think about how sad that is though for dc because like if we had kept this 30 minutes of footage in the movie in the theatrical release of it everyone would have been happy think about how sad that is (laughs) <laughs> think about how much of a whoever decided you know we should probably yeah we should probably take this 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 big 30 minute chunk out of the movie eh you know this this, this doesn't look too good i guarantee you that guy gets fired <laughs> because because fantastic four imagine uh, probably because <laughs> that would be so bad man because somebody decided that right somebody Wait edited that footage out of there because they didn't like it so the question is, who, whoever that guy is, must feel so bad after this. Hey, you know if, that bit of I film think, you edited? Guess amazing. what? We're gonna edit the roster of our uh, jobs that we have here, and you're out. We cut you out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, By um, the way, I just, I just did the math on it, and I felt real stupid the fact that I said one percent because I was like, hold on, I can do the math. It's actually more like one and two thirds seconds. But I was close enough, or, or, or in terms of a percent, one and two thirds, one and two thirds percent, about two percent of the footage was put in this trailer. But I just want to make sure that I made it clear because I was like, that's that doesn't that doesn't seem right. Good so words, I did the math. Man. It's mostly yeah. Well, you know, I like to get it right when I can. Yeah. Uh, but nonetheless, point the point is still is still there. Awesome. But I also I also want to uh, throw out there the um, I think that from this trailer. They made it very clear, and um, Zack Snyder's um, wife in an interview prior to the movie coming out, and part of it is kind of like, come on, guys, why are you guys saying this stuff right before the movie comes out? But I think she's a producer on the film, and she made it a big deal about how the desert scene is a lot be- a lot more significant than the um, 
is a lot more significant than the theatrical cut um, you know made it out to be. So I think that this trailer showed that uh, as well. That was kind of well, confirmation okay, so one, about that. One thing I also really liked was that they show a little bit more of why Superman should feel bad about what happened in, where was it, Afghanistan? Or somewhere in Africa, I can't remember. Where uh, where he's in the beginning against the terrorists, you know? And yeah, like yeah, I can't remember people. exactly. Where, yeah, I can't they, remember where exactly it was, but yeah, and I know what you're talking about, yeah. They make it seem a little bit more like there's more evidence to conclude that Superman is at fault for all this. Um, I really hope... It's not. I, here's the thing. I, I hope it doesn't feel like it drags too much, though. That's another issue that could come up, though. But again, I mean, like, what Dark Knight Rises was three hours long, right? So I'll make the, the extra thirty minutes will make this three hours long too, I believe. Because it's a yeah. So it, I mean, it shouldn't be. Did, did you guys? Did you guys have? I'm curious because I don't know your guys' sides of this as much. For for me, I, I really liked. I I don't say I really liked. I liked Batman vs Superman, but there were so many holes in the um storytelling in terms yeah. of the motivation well, where, where do you guys stand on that do you is this something because i know there's kind of two parties here there's people who hate the movie because they're, they're going to hate the movie for whatever you know including for example like they don't like that it's a dark and brooding well this movie is dark and brooding so you're not going to yeah. like it that's fair you well, know it's not marvel people, what, website. what happened with me okay what happened with me yeah i, was, I yeah. heard i heard some of the reviews that came out before because before they got released publicly there were some critics who got to go see it early and stuff like that, and they were saying, you know, it's pretty awful. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty pretty bad. So I kind of what I did, and a lot of people can't do this. I kind of just went, okay, take expectations from here, and lower them about five feet. Okay. <laughs> so then I was like, listen, I don't care if it's bad. I'm just gonna watch this, and I'm gonna see Batman fight Superman, and that's all I need. And so I watched it, and I was like, you know, that was pretty good. And I thought about it, and, and, and I continued to think about it. And I, and I was like, it's a pretty bad movie, but it's very fun. Just because of the fact that it's like, like, like for all the plot holes in it, and just, I mean, it's so many stuff. There were so many things I just thought were, like, weird or terrible or didn't make any sense. Um, like, like, okay, I was thinking about this especially. If you had, didn't have a huge knowledge of comic books, when the Flash bursts through time and is like, Bruce, I'm the Flash, but doesn't actually say I'm that. Too, yeah. I'm too early. Yeah. Or, or, you, so, yeah. Would, you would have zero clue who that is or what the heck is happening. Oh, I have confirmation of that. I saw that. I saw the movie three times, and I saw it with the last time I saw it. I saw it with a few people who are not comic book, uh, you know, aficionados. Yeah. And I literally, I mentioned like, you know, that was the Flash, right? And they're like, what? Yeah, That's, I know. I, I, I had it. I had that too. Yeah, I think um, it actually helped the fact that we, like, some of us here actually read the comics, so we yeah. we found it, the movie okay. Well, okay. So something I, I thought about this. Okay, I thought about this um, a little while after I watched the movie. I thought this was interesting. I wonder if Zack Snyder put in that whole nightmare dream sequence so that he can make Batman and Superman fight again later on. Like, I wonder if he was thinking while he was making this, you know, the producers keep coming in here and messing this up. This isn't super good. And they want me to, you know, throw in cameos and stuff with these characters. So what if I make it so in the future Superman's evil so then there's a justification for him to fight Batman? So think about that. What if in that post-apocalyptic world, we get to see Batman and Superman fight again, and it's like way better. Mm, and that's... this, and he put that in there as a way to, you know, say okay, well, let, they can let, fight again, and it doesn't have to be called Batman v Superman two. Let yeah. me let me ask you guys this because I'm I, I again I'm I know I I have a pretty good like uh, high level understanding of kind of what's going on but you guys uh, probably probably even have a better understanding. Someone had mentioned at one point um, uh, you know, in an in, in, in a interview or uh, or something about like how the Flash going back through time and stuff. Um, it's not really a dream. It's like a vision of the future that. You know, Bruce has already lived, and so, because the yeah. the fat the Flash is going back in time, he's getting a vision. Is there so what? Can, what I thought happened was that because if you notice, okay, Batman Bruce wakes up, and then the Flash is is in this wormhole, yelling to. Him. What I thought happened 
was that he travels through time and via whatever is giving him this future vision and then he wakes up and sees the flash i some people think he's just dreaming of the future and then he wakes up and then but but to me that just seems so ridiculous the idea that oh you're just having this dream about the future and then the flash shows up you know what i mean like that sounds yeah. way uh-huh. too just bizarre yeah. and doesn't it sounds too incoherent to make sense sounds so, too coincidental yeah like you're having a future dream and then for no reason the flash just shows up i'm right. curious yeah. i'm curious and when justice league or whenever the movie that where the flash is from happens are we just going to see that happen and the whole scene done differently from the perspective of the flash because i'm curious then where does he go right after that you know like where is he where does he go immediately after realizing Am I too early? What you know, like, and what is that supposed to mean? You know? Um, no offense, though, to kind of break that idea, but when you kind of alter the past, you alter the future at the same time. So we can never one of ever seeing that ever again. Like that future cannot exist. Yeah, but there's nothing to say it does. There's nothing to say. It oh doesn't. no, there's well, nothing to say well, that. But no, you, well, for, he you did could fix say it. you could say, for instance, that yeah, that that him going back in time, that he's already done that, and it didn't change anything anyway. You know, mm-hmm. like it might you know, be that Batman never told him, hey, you know, you once visited me in the Batcave and it was your future great. self. You know, I reminded of the Flash TV show now. I was re watching yeah. the episode Which, where oh, Barry yes, goes. We need, to watch, we need to talk a little bit about that because I saw the season finale of The Flash, okay? Give That's me a actually, second. Can I finish what I was saying? Yeah, go ahead. I was re watching season one and Barry just did his like first time travel and they were talking about how time is malleable where you become the thing. That caused your future and name of the reference yep. Terminator, or you become, or you go back in time. And you change everything, causing an alternate timeline, like Back to the Future. I'm reminded of Harrison Wells saying that now. Yeah. Like, how is time played here? Is it played the same way in the Flash TV show, yeah, or is it played I have differently? Zero clue. Time's weird. Um. Yes, it is. Basically, it's just however they want to say it is is how it is. Um. Okay, you guys want to talk about the Flash? Chad, have you seen the season finale of the Flash? Chad. Hey, sorry about that. I stepped away for two That's seconds. I, well, plus weird. I haven't. I, oh, so what, what was the question? Because here's, I, I actually haven't finished all of the Flash. Um, oh. Yet, but but hey, here's the deal: is like it's a really good show. I can deal with spoilers. I, I actually kind of got an idea of the ending uh, with right. with Zoom. You tell us your like idea. That. Tell us. Well, your idea. I, I know I have an idea of, of like just that? from. Well, I have. Um, Zoom ends up being consumed by some. I think they called it time wraiths. That's Does that correct. sound right? That's correct. And then yeah. there's the potential of like black Zoom. Is that <laughs> or no black or black, black zoom. Flash. Now, I sound, flash. now now I sound like a real jerk. Black flash. I think that's what <laughs> black they Zoom. Oh, what an up, amateur. They set us up to sound that for that sound. Yeah. Like, yeah. And people are gonna be like, black flash. Like <laughs> like what? What does that uh, yeah. mean? Basically, the uh, speech that kills everybody. <laughs> yeah. So you one's touching that... your dead. Is that, yeah, is you're that right you about guys? that. You're right about that. That does happen. Yeah, it does happen. His costume so was... and everything to look flash. just like it. Sorry. So what was the what was the original question? Uh, what do you was, think, what do you think, what do you think happens in that? Oh, okay. Well, then there it is. That's what I. Okay. That's what so, I think so happened from my, happens, my. They defeat Zoom. All right. So they defeat Zoom. Okay. And and. Everything. When Have you fights. gotten to the point in which Barry Allen's father dies? Ooh, no, I okay. haven't. But his father dies. <laughs> um, good. And his father and... is. Well, great. I, this is great. I've got. I got yeah, okay, 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 okay. Also, I... okay. The, the guy in the mask that Zoom's holding captive with the the giant metal mask. Uh, you find out that is actually the real Jay Garrick. And get this. Jay Garrick looks like Barry Allen's dad. Henry Allen. Yeah. This is good because I got so many shows I got to catch up on anyway that this is a better way of just. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have to, I know, I don't right? have to waste time. But see, right. everything we're right. talking about because hey, it could literally. Hey, just be tell worse. you what happens in Lost? You know, um, I could just yeah. tell you now. <laughs> no one knows what happens in Lost. No one knows what happens. Weirdest in they all go. They all go to purgatory. I've heard that's what yeah. happens. They all end up in purgatory. And oh man, I'm not is, getting. I'm not getting that death is what is purgatory? Garbage. The church or the island? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I think them dying on the island gets them. 
I do. I don't even freaking care. I don't even talk about. I'm not, I'm I'm not s- about I'm to not get. Even, I'm, I'm not, not about to start getting death threats by spoiling <laughs> yeah, the I'm end not, of Lost. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not signing up for that. I'm not. I'm not I'll come it all okay. in. Get it. So okay. So so at the end, okay, Barry Allen's pouting. Like he always does when something sad happens, and he's like, "I just got a, my mom, and, and then my dad's yeah, taken away from me." He's like, "Why does my life have to suck so much?" Because it's a CW show. And so then, okay, the, okay, I, I just want to say ahead of time, Barry Allen is an idiot. Like he oh, yeah, really is. Definitely. Okay. Cause, so what he does, he decides, "I'm gonna go back in time and save no, my." You don't mom. need to say. It. You only can say one word to describe what he did. Flashpoint. Flash twice. Yes. So okay, he goes back in time and saves his mom, and then he sees the younger version of himself from the the past, Dissipate. where he was in the God. in the door, and he smiles and he's like, "Nice one, future me," and then he disappears. So here's basically what I, everything wait, from season he one sa- to he saves his, he saves his mom. He saves his mom. Yeah, he actually does it. And so how does here's how does that continuity work out? I don't basically know. He, he, and then, he, basically Chad he wiped out season one and two. Basically, so that's here's a, what, here's that's a fun what, game. I just want to say this, okay? This is what's dumb about when people go, you know, if I could save, if I could save my mom and stuff, especially if you're like a superhero, then I would absolutely do it, or whatever, save somebody I care about. But okay, let's just say that that happens. He then is no longer the Flash, meaning that all the people he saves, including in the final episode, he saves literally the entire every the multiverse, every universe ever. Uh, wait a minute. Can can he okay. also go? Oh, sorry. Go, go, go ahead, Jordan. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. What was the question? Oh, I was just say, look, if he goes back and saves his mom, why doesn't he go save Steve Amell and his dad out in the water? He can travel on water. <laughs> Let's, you know, like, like come on, you know, like, throw, Arrow, throw a guy you're a pretty up. solid dude. I'm gonna save your your dad too. Seriously, I mean, I'm gonna on. take the Queen's Gambit back home. <laughs> right? What, what, like, I just I, imagine he rushes there and that life raft. And then he's like, picks him up and just sprints across the water back to Star City. <laughs> but he wouldn't be a true freak because he basically wiped out the Green Arrow. Yeah, but but okay, here's what I'm, I've heard people say this now. That now this has caused Flashpoint to occur. Meaning mm-hmm. that we're going to see all other characters totally different. So I heard somebody say this. Oh yeah, maybe instead okay, of Batman, have you never seen like, anything have... about Flashpoint? Every, have you seen anything about Flashpoint? Chad, do you know what, what, yeah, what um, Flashpoint Yeah, I've got a... Sl- um... Go if 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 you want to feel it's free to explain he, just high level high level. Barry Allen saves his mom, comes back to the 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 future the present, and everything's totally different. He know he's no okay. longer the Flash. Gotcha. Watch uh, like, on Netflix. Chad. Yeah, there's on actually Netflix, it's a, there's, there's actually the Flash an Paradox. It's an animated movie. It's, it's really oh good, nice. Actually. Yeah, so, done so, on my list. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it this, so like, uh, this weekend. Instance, so like for instance, Batman is not Bruce Wayne. He's Thomas Wayne now because Bruce and his mom's instead, the Joker. Of, instead of yeah, his mom's the Joker. And Thomas Wayne is what? Dead, and he murders people. Holy! Because this yeah, basically Bruce gets everything shot instead of his dad and mom. Changes because his mom goes. He insane. saves his mom. So everything. Oh changes man! Because Barry Allen saves his mom, and then he has to go back in Sounds time again awesome. and stop his mom from stop his mom from being he has saved. Kill his, he has to stop him from saving his mom yeah. from being killed. Um. So then, um. Gosh. But okay, so, uh, so Teddy, like this, you were saying, like he. The destruction of the multiverse would not happen because Zoom said the only reason he knew about the second Earth was uh, because cause he saw the yeah. Flash running around that time yeah. vortex. But, okay, but if that never happened, about, he never saw it happen. But also think about all the people that will die now because the Flash is not there. Like there's still just random accidents and criminals and stuff that he would yeah. normally stop, you know? No, uh, I'll just good... take you two out of your car and put it in the police car and put this car over to the so side of the road. It's just, it's why, why are you, why is he such a selfish human being that he's like, you know, my mom's more important than all the other <laughs> other people that 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 could have died. Okay, or, or that two... lives are better now because he, you know, did something that helped them. I wanted to do a video on this, but guess what? It's all gonna be here. I was upset at first. Like I was like, "You was wiped really out mad. season one and two. I was really God mad. God dang it! Two yeah. years of my life wasted. Well, I was like, "Wait I, a minute! They're doing Flashpoint." Well, also, this I was be mad because I wanted their the race that Zoom and the Flash have, which is how the, how they settle this conflict. I wanted it to be around the world because I was uh, yeah. thinking that's. I mean, everyone knows that like. 
when the Flash has to have a race, it's always around the whole Earth. It's not in this... Flash versus it's, it's Superman around the world. He's basically on a hamster wheel. Like, if you think about it, he's basically yeah. on this giant hamster wheel. And just, like, the time remnant thing was cool, okay? Where he creates yeah. a past he brings up where future like your version. future self would go but to the past yeah and get himself killed so you yeah. could do something else but, but here's what i was everybody when they saw this okay everybody talked about this was like but he, he that that future version of yourself he really died didn't he and i'm thinking yep. yeah because he knew that that he wasn't actually going to die that, that he would still be alive it just wouldn't be this specific version of him you know You'd still be able mm-hmm. to know I'm still going to be alive. It's not like I die. It's just this version of me dies. So it, uh, did you all hear that uh, Tom Cavanaugh is confirmed for season three of The Flash? Tom Cavanaugh, aka Harrison Wells. Oh, I'm not. I mean, of course, uh, so we're going to see course, Earth One Harrison Wells now. Of course, there's going to be a you know. Um, I guess which we, is I don't know about for you guys, but that is good news to me. I love yeah, I love Harrison, Harrison Wells. Wells. Are we all Harrison Wells, Wells fans? Because I am. Yeah, I love oh Harrison Wells. God. Harrison Wells is awesome. Um, are you guys fans of Arrow? I watch Arrow. Okay. I I haven't I've I'm caught up to about I haven't finished the, the whole season. I I wasn't yeah, very I'm impressed not. with season with season three, but I I caught up to season the point eight. where something happens with Felicity. Yeah, uh, for I spoiler have, warning, Felicity gets behind. gets in, gets messed oh, up. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm two episodes behind from the season finale of this season. So oh, I've seen. Oh, that. good, perfect. Well, oh. then I can now spoil I'm stuff seen. for you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Revenge of the Dish. Yes, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I gotta say, okay, so I'm, oh, oh, this is also something that I wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, so Blade, Ghost Rider, and Moon Knight, and the Punisher. Uh, the Punisher's confirmed, but the other three are rumored now to also be getting Marvel Netflix shows. Amazing. That would be the greatest uh, thing. Here's the thing, dude. I was thinking, I want to see the Ghost Rider again. Because Ghost Rider is awesome. God, dude, Ghost Rider. Oh, my God. I mean, look, let's be honest. Like, for in the same way that I enjoy watching a terrible sci-fi channel movie, you know, like <laughs> Ghost Shark. Or you know, yeah, volcanoes. It's bad, but it's the good bad. That, I you know, like, said like that ghost, exactly. I can, I can, awful. I can knock back some. Yeah, why, they're terrible. Why was you can knock, cage you can knock, ever Ghost Rider? Oh my god! Because he can freak out, and whenever he, can, he's great at freaking. Really? He's okay, king this, of freaking this, out, this and was, when he transforms. Yeah. yeah go, okay. Go this this the one scene though that encapsulates. Nick Cage's performance in that movie is at the end when he kills all the demon people, and and the devil shows up and it's, it's I mean it's, it's it, all the demons look really weird in this movie too because they look like normal people <laughs> but then get like these weird ah like grow fangs and stuff and it kind of looks it looks pretty pretty bad, um, and then and then and the devil's like all right you you've killed my demon son, I'll take the Ghost Rider powers back. And he freaking looks at him and goes, no, I'm going to use this power and I'm going to use it to fight you wherever you go. And I'm like, what the heck is that? Um, where, where, was the, where was the character development and, you know, for that, yeah, for that dude, scene it's, it's that like, made him go, go with that? Yeah, it's like all of a sudden he's like, yeah, I like these Ghost Rider powers. They're pretty cool. And then all of, also... He just like screams at him and flies away, and I'm thinking, can't you just take it back? Does he have to willingly give it up, or wh- I mean, like, like you force the powers upon him? So why should you have to willingly ask? take them away? Because yeah, and- you know why? Because it's lazy writing. Yup. <laughs> that's why. Also, <laughs> that's, oh, that's you know it. what's okay? I, I okay. Being older now, and I was pretty young when I saw the first Ghost Rider movie. Okay, being older now, I remember this specifically. He reads freaking Dante's Inferno. You guys remember that? Oh, yeah. He reads Dante's freaking Inferno to learn movie. about Ghost Rider. What the heck? Who decided that? And it's it's clearly Dante's Inferno because you can see the pictures are yeah. from the Inferno. So an what, intern. An intern decided that. I mean, I mean an intern that didn't never got hired. Like, you know how? You, hey, hey, I got an idea for how he should learn to control the Ghost Rider powers. Is it like you know maybe he like, 
I don't know, he, he has this big moral struggle or he reads the Bible or whatever, something that would actually make any sense. And it's like, no, how about we re- he reads Dante's Inferno, which, you know, like is a, you know, like a totally made up book about this dude who even acknowledged right. it was a made up book. It's not even, it, it's so remote, just out there. It makes zero sense. You know what I mean? It's not even like a religious book to anyone is the thing. It's just like this dude who is like, you know, I think here's how hell works. That was the that yeah. was that's what the book is, you know. And this this yeah. This here, here's a, here's this, an interesting here's an interesting interpretation of hell. You know, yeah, that's, that's it. How he, it's just that's out of how someone's brain that it's gonna. You know, the, that's how he thought that it is. That the, you know, the nine layers and stuff like you, that. Um, yeah, you might as well go see Event Horizon. That's another person's yeah, interpretation he, of hell. He never at no point, and people have done plenty of fictional. You know how they think hell is. But they all it's not like any of them go, here's how it is. I know this. This is true. Believe it. It's they're all like, you know, this is how maybe maybe it might be. I don't know. Um But but what what freaking intern decided, hey, you know, he should learn how to control the ghostwriter spirit by uh by uh, uh reading reading Dante's Inferno, man. That that'd be perfect. Who in their right mind thought of that? Yeah. And, and what's Someone, weird, I even yeah. remember, dude, he reads, like, verses from the book and then goes, this is how I control it. Like, <laughs> it's like there's these weird passages in the book. And then he'll be like, oh, so this means that uh, that, that I need to, to – I can only exist at like- night. And, uh, and it's like w- – w- I'm sorry. Where does it talk about Ghost Rider in this? Yeah. It's – yeah, it, it doesn't make and any sense. I feel, I feel like if anything... His name, who's the old man who rides a flaming horse, which looks awesome, by the way, but is so, it's like... And then, oh, do you remember this, too? He he helps him get there, get to this weird hick town that's like looks like a cow... I mean, it looks like the Old West or something. And he helps him get there, and then he's like... I could only ride one more time, and this was my time. So now I gotta go. What is that, the is, heck is are that you talking Id- about? <laughs> is that Idris Elba, or is that the second no, that, movie with Idris Elba? No, no, that's it's the it's the old man with the long hair who's like a cowboy. Oh, who he goes yeah, yeah, to, yeah. To, to ta- train him how to be oh a ghost my god. Ride. Do you remember that? Where he goes, this was the last time I could ride, and I used it tonight. Now I'll be off, and then he like rides into the sunset. And it's like, what the, what, what? God what, dang! I what, thought you said that was your last ride. But uh, okay, here's the thing: yeah. what it's rules also not are like there that train. say that? What rules are there that say that? Like he even said right. that, that the devil was done with him, and that that he used up his his usefulness, and he you know lost the power or whatever, and then he can get it back, and then he's like, oh yeah, I can only do this one more time. What? Where does it say anywhere that you can only do this a sp- certain number of times? Is yeah, it like there's the an older contract you that they never the... shown. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then, yeah, okay, it's not, okay, it's not, it's not been, like that could have been a totally, we could have talked that, talk about that for hours. I want to say this you're an idiot if you sell your soul to the devil. I mean, you have to be like the most idiotic human being to ever walk the earth. If you really think about, like, okay, if you remember, what's his, what's even his name? Johnny, what is it? In the in the ghost. Oh man, it's I like can't Johnny remember. Johnny Blaze or something, isn't it? Oh my god, like, that is a great name for the devil. Yeah, that but, is but so like, bad. But like, wh- why? Why is his name Johnny Blaze? It just so happens he gets. Why a does he have two skull. names? Why yeah. does he have two names? Why does he not have four or seven or fifteen? Okay, He's so, been around forever. Why doesn't yeah, so, he have no, 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 a total? No, 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 no. I'm talking about about Ghost Rider. This is, oh my god! I'm Johnny, sorry. That's Johnny stupid. Blaze. Cage's name sorry, is like duh, Johnny yeah. Blaze or something. Yeah, I, thought talking about the, I thought you were talking about the devil. No, and I was like, no. That that would actually that would be a funny name for the devil. Actually, yeah, that, that, yeah. That, sorry, I'm 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 but, uh, picking up as I go along. But like, and then and then you guys remember? I think you guys remember this, where he's at the circus, and the devil shows up, and he's like, "I'll make your father healed if you sign this card." I mean, ever who would not be like, "You're the freaking devil, man! I'm leaving. This is no." <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, really. 
Really? I'd be like, okay, okay, really? show me your show me your medical degree. Yeah, can I see? And like, if you don't have one, degree? leave me alone. And then and then that's what. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay, whenever somebody says, "Hey, listen, if you just sign this contract, he'll just be fixed." That's never how anything. Never, ever, ever, B- ever, ever. BS. Think yeah. that that's gonna ever work out. I mean, you, you're just an idiot. I mean. Yeah, that's how like the people in boil and people in boiler room got screwed. You know, it's like a, and, it's and his, stupid. Like, like I'm a Christian guy too, so it, it's worse. It you seem like a bigger idiot to me, you know, because then it's like, what what the heck is this freaking fool doing? Like, and then you know what the worst part is? He's just signing his name and it cuts his hand with his name. What idiot is thinking? Oh, this is normal. I mean, I mean, who thinks that signing your name with blood is acceptable? Who ever thinks that? Ever? Yeah. I mean, how? How do you do this? How could you ever? Uh, not none of it. None of it makes any sense. I mean, it's one thing to like have you know, kind of out there things happen in you know a movie like Man of Steel, where it's based in reality, and this is how they're showing you know. You know, if aliens were to come to Earth and there was one that got powers from the sun, like, okay, all right, I could see this kind of going down this way, maybe. Yeah, you know, but it's just, it's just really bad writing. This is a bunch of people that tried to, you know, shove this, yeah. this, shove this property down the pipeline and they got a bunch of inexperienced or, you know, not, you know, non talented oh, or a combination it's, of both it's, people you know worse, and just, though? just put you know it out there. You know, it's worse though. Ghost Rider Two: Spirit of Vengeance. I haven't even I haven't even watched okay, all don't that. Thing. Watch. Wait, okay, you there was a know, second. You just want to know what happens in the end? You want to know what happens in the end? This is the what? dumbest part I've ever seen. Okay, no, don't spoil it for me, Teddy. Not, don't no, spoil no, it for okay, me. Listen, no, I'm kidding. So I, I'm what happens kidding. Is, Please, I couldn't care so what, less. I know. So what happens is, okay, he he can't. He fights this whatever this like cultist dude or something, and he's like, I can't defeat him. I don't understand why, but then, I, I mean, like, my mind is melting thinking about this. He realizes, you know, if the, if the, if the spirit of vengeance, the ghost rider, was, is a demon now, then it must have once been an angel. So I just need to unlock the angel powers within it. <laughs> Wait, you being can, serious? I'm serious. And you know what happens? He gets blue fire. When he turn- so by the end of the movie, okay, he's the oh. angel spirit. And I'm like, Ooh. what the heck are you talking about? What the heck are you talking about? Yeah, you don't mess with blue fire. I- I've always known that my entire life. You know, but, like, like, oh, shit, that guy's got blue fire? Don't mess with that guy. Think about it now. I just, it's like having a seizure. I mean, it's like, 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 it's, it's, I mean, and, and Nick Cage is in it again too. And Nick Cage is just so oh, and and there, oh, there was something. Oh, this was horrible. I remember this. So you guys remember how everything, so we every something weapon, else. You guys, no, no, no. I gotta say this first. And I think we're gonna end the podcast. Okay. You remember how he and everything that he picks up as a weapon, he it immediately becomes like a Ghost Rider thing. Like he gets on the mo- his motorcycle and then it turns into like a Ghost Rider motorcycle. Or he's a, that he has that shotgun, and then it turns into like a supernatural shotgun, stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, in the second one, in the second one, he's fighting these thugs. I don't know even why he's fighting these random thugs. Um, he just is, and uh, he's at a construction site. Okay, he uh, he decides to get in. I believe it's a crane at this construction site. The crane then, like, gets flaming eyes and turns into this monster crane. Okay, with, well, like, so now a you... buzz saw at the end, and he starts just swinging it at people and destroys everything. And I, I, it, it, you basically just convinced me that I actually have to see this movie. Like that, that it sounds unbelievable. Like in the dude, literal term like of unbelievable, it sounds you unbelievable. Look at this and go. This isn't real. Give me this a second. A I'm looking this, this up. Like, this is like 
I don't believe Taddy. No, I'm right? serious. I know, I'm it serious. sounds like it I'm sounds serious. There's a crane. demon crane. There's a crane. Once you said eyes. Once the crane turns, gets eyes. I think it has I'm eyes. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. But dude, it. okay, imagine this. They show this image of Ghost Rider climbs up a ladder, gets in a crane, a freaking crane. It might be a bulldozer. I can't remember. A cr- but whatever. And sits in it and starts riding it. And he's like, ha, 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 ha. And I'm. And I, also, by the way, if you you can if you can turn a crane or a bulldozer or whatever it is into that, why wouldn't you just say screw the motorcycle? I'm going with a thing that like a bulldozes truck, stuff. like a monster truck or something. monster truck. Yeah, why wouldn't you I think be like he also screw? gets a car and has like a crazy monster car in this? Um, I. And what's okay? The point of it also is super weird because he meets this mom, okay, whose son has been kidnapped by cultists to sacrifice so that they can gain whatever powers, okay. And he's like, "I don't want to help you, but I guess I'll help you." Come on. And then it's like, it's like a road trip for a while, and they stop in a diner and talk. And there's a, I'm serious, there's a scene in which they just fill in what he's been doing since Ghost Rider 1. And my brain was, die is dying just thinking about all of I this. I don't believe it. What? <laughs> I don't believe you this. Find, this thing actually exists. Did you find the crane? This thing actually exists. You found it, didn't you? You didn't you? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh man! You'll have to send me the picture of it because I want to see what it, how dumb it looks again. You know, it um, is truly like it's one of those things where like it is amazing that you know someone thought of this and then other people okayed it. What's so you know dumb other people the, the supervisors of the whole thing yeah. need to, need and, to be examined. And I, what I would also think too, people spent money on this movie. What poor I found little image. Idiots. I'm looking for I mean, a video I, I, somewhere. They, they I gotta say, I gotta say though, I remember seeing the trailer. The trailer for for this wasn't nearly as bad as what you're describing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I actually feel I feel like the people who went and saw this expecting something good need deserve their money back. They, like I, I saw yeah. the trailer for the second one, I was like, oh, maybe they got an interesting, uh, you know, a good director but, here. Okay, maybe gotta, you know. I gotta say though. The name Ghost Rider Two: Spirit though. of Vengeance. That kind of gives away this is going to be a horrible movie, you know. Yeah, but even like, even even still, it's like it's hard to. I mean, for example, Ed, uh, Edge of Tomorrow. That's a terrible name for that movie. But true. Live Die Repeat. That's a really cool name. That's a marketing choice. The movie I thought was really good, you know. But it just the, the, there's a difference sometimes. I feel, I feel like. I feel like we need to like separate marketing campaign, you and, know, and, and actual the actual movie. film. Yeah, you know, because I, I agree I with you. Like... Spirit, Spirit of Vengeance is a dumb is a dumb name. I, well, I like, I'm in, it's, I'm it's, in it's agreement. Kind of like it's kind of like um, Avatar: The Last Airbender. If if Whoa. you think about it, that's a horrible name. <laughs> right. Like, they, is that... Here's the thing that though is that like they put zero thought into that because they're just like, hey, let's just take the anime and just you know. Call it the same thing. Who's gonna? I mean, like, what does it matter? Um, you know, what, okay, I, I'm serious. When I was a kid and went to see Avatar: The Last Airbender, you know what bugged me the most was that um, they kept calling him Ong, and that made me so mad as a kid because I was like, it's "Oh not yeah, freaking Ong." Okay, it's Ang, <laughs> and dude, just you mess. Okay, think about that. That's the main character's name. They messed up the main character's name. Think about that for a second. Think about especially, it. Imagine if, especially. Imagine, imagine this. Imagine if Captain America, Winter Soldier, everybody was walking around going, Hey, what's up, Captain America? In- well, some people do probably actually say that. Yeah. But- I would actually find that kind, of, that kind of acceptable and somewhat funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, but when hey, what's up, when America? It's not, when it's not funny, okay. Well, it, 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 it also, also, it's, also it's wrong, something. It's not it, funny. 
Okay. It's something also. It's something that's inconsequential. Why? Who? Who cares whether you say Ong or Ang? Yeah. Like, why couldn't you just call it? You said it was Ang. Like, why yeah, couldn't you just yeah. call him Ang? Like, yeah. what, what? What's? What's the point? It's something because it, with with comic book movies or anime, whatever it is, they're different mediums. Well, so it's okay to change. An Avatar it, movie. Right, and who it's okay to like. Who is asking for that? Who? Well, really? that's probably Nobody that's asked probably for Batman and Robin, but we still got it. That's true, but, and I can go same, on for that movie. Oh man! And at the same time, like, like I understand sometimes you got to change things from the from one medium to another, comic books to film. Okay. Yes, sometimes you, you need book. you need to, you need to, you need to change it, but there's no reason to change Ang to Ong. That's stupid. There's no okay. reason to change okay, that. Okay, I just want to say this also: the 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 <laughs> Ang in that movie. If you just look at him. He looks like a thirteen-year-old girl. <laughs> like if you really listen to his voice and him and see him, it looks like a thirteen-year-old girl. Guys, say something. You guys remember? Hang on. Or, or a thirty-year-old gay man. Whichever one you want to choose. Oh, Whichever I don't know. You choose. He looks like one of those. Okay, go ahead. Josh. Okay, like I was saying, a good change is like from like Mr. Freeze from the comics, uh, way back then. He was so horrible. If like you watch the sixties mm. TV show, he had literal to no motivation whatsoever. But when you have like the, the ice animated age. series, they like, changed. <laughs> you the dinosaurs, the ice age. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But like the animated series, they changed. Paul uh, Dini changed the origin for Mr. Freeze, and he, he came more focused on his wife. Oh my god, best episode. Especially because they did a good job, especially like as a kid, especially as a kid, conveying yeah, if you that like read the this comic, guy, that was this big. guy, really wasn't a bad person. He was just trying to save his wife, and he wanted to do that any means pot by any means possible. You know, so oh. uh. all right, all right, podcast over. <laughs> this has been really <laughs> long and fun. Thank you all for watching. Um, that uh, that horror movie podcast will come out whenever. <laughs> Not involving me. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just let yeah. Just let me know, man. I you look wanna, forward to it. You want to record it tomorrow? Yeah, let's do it. What time? Okay. Or yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. But um, yeah, let's let's definitely do it. All right. And be on time. Thank you and good night.